Hi, my name is Richard Maw, and I'm here to do a quick demonstration of the Matthews Max Menace Arm. Here he is. Comes in as a complete unit. Everything you need right here, except some weight and a lamp. But we can come up with that. So, uh, what you do is remove the legs from their handy little receptacles and place them in the receivers at the base. Pin it, make sure the legs don't come out. Um, there are three columns. Uh, the first column uh, is just for adjusting the length of Max. The two other columns, the middle column uh, is used in adjusting the angle of, of Max, and the end column uh, is, is basically for setting the height of the arm in a room. Uh, for this demonstration though, we'll just try and do a little quick parallel thing. So see there's a red line, you don't want to go above the red line. And then it comes with aircraft safety pins, very strong, simple to use, and you know, multiply adjustable one inch increments here and here on the arm. Max comes with an adapter for a baby pin lamp or a junior receiver. Uh, it's also kind of self-leveling, it pivots um, and it goes in the end. Here. And there are these quick pins. And you can pin it for safety. This is an additional adapter, depending on what type of lamp you're using. If you're using a large bayo lamp, like one of the Kina Flows, or a larger, you want to put this in. We'll put this in and just show you how that goes. We'll unpin this. We'll put this and insert this in here. So now, once you have the pin pulled, you can pull Max's arm out. It's anywhere adjustable from 16 feet to 6 feet. Uh, the offset arm adds another foot and a half, so it's 17 foot capacity and length. And then you have these safety pins that you put in. Um, then, if you want to put a lamp on the lamp on the stand, it uses weights. Basically, it's a three to one weight ratio. So if you have 100 pounds on the end, which is capable of, of supporting, you need 300 pounds on the base. For this demonstration, we're just gonna put a couple of 25 pound plates. Try and even the load, so you don't have too much weight on one side or another. What we have here, is a Kina Flow image 45. The handly little aircraft pins are very convenient for storing the cable so that it's out of the way. And depending on the uh, application, you can lock this and it'll stay, and as you go up, it'll or you can let it loose. And as you crank up the arm, it stays parallel. Now, to adjust the angle of Max, there's a little crank here. Okay, so, very simple little process of turning the crank. And up she goes. We're gonna wrap up Max and move to the next location. So, uh, pretty simple little process. Basically, uh, in an inverse of the setup. So,
Okay, so in this situation, we want to stick a light over this wall. I mean, in the old days, we'd have to come in and have the set dressing department come and remove this rack full of uh, fabric and stuff like that. But with Max, we can just set the lamp up, kind of pre-aim it. We're gonna tilt it down a little bit. And we can lock this. And then it's as simple as cranking it up. Now what I'm doing is cranking it up over the wall, and then I can slowly start moving it in position. With the lamp on, we can very easily manipulate the lamp with Max, completely erect it, get it into position without having to move any of the set dressing pieces or the environment, and then we can lower Max down Okay, so here's an environment uh, we're shooting interior, and a lot of times nowadays uh, um, locations are very sensitive and they don't allow us to touch the building because of their historic or their new or for whatever reason. Um, and so we brought Max in and, and he's here holding up a lamp. It also allows the camera to move over underneath it so lamp stands aren't in the way. Um, it's just another application where Max uh, comes in real handy for problem solving on the set. All right, here's another great application for Max. When you want to get the lamp really high, uh, very few other lamp stands have that capability, also with a small footprint. So another great, safe, quick, easy solution. So here's another application for Max. Depending on the situation and the environment, we put Max up on a balcony and he can drop down up to six feet below grade. So we can be shooting in here and adjust the height of the light and where it's positioned, but not have any stands visible. So another great, safe, quick application of Max Medical. Okay, so once again, it was a pleasure to show you Max. Just to do a quick overview, Max is self-contained, except for some counterweights. He will extend from six feet to 17 and a half feet. He will parallel a 10-foot ceiling to put the light 23 feet in the air or 6 feet below grade. And we've shown you some of those options. Um, and he folds up into a small little compact unit, which is easily transported. One guy can quickly and safely move it around the set, and I think that's a wrap. Thanks, gentlemen.